Oh my gosh, man. You see, I wasn't going to make a video any at all this week. I'm on vacation, having a good time, chilling out at the beach, having just a blast right now. And I watched NXT Heatway last night, and I'm like, dang it, I got to talk about this show just a little bit, man. What a freaking show this was. Now, personally, my opinion is on Money in the Bank. It was not the worst show in the world I've ever seen. Far from it. But there are things and booking decisions I did not care about nor liked. But, yeah, didn't really care about Money in the Bank. But that's neither here nor there. Heat Wave, on the other hand, turned things around completely for me. These people went out there and performed like their freaking lives were on the line, for God's sakes. They went out there and just killed it. And went out there and performed a fantastic show. And it was great, from, in my opinion, from top to bottom. Were there a few things I didn't like? Uh, there were a little nitpicks, but not really that big, honestly. It was still a fun, incredible show. And God dang it, let's get into it. It kicked off with Obafemi versus Wesley for the North American title. And my gosh, this Obafemi, again, then I'm not the biggest Obafemi fan, but he can actually go. He's like the Brock Lesnar of NXT, where he works better with the small dudes, dude, guys. This guy is really, 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 really good when he wants to put on the working boots. And he he put on the working boots whenever he gets in the ring. And this dude knows what he's doing out there. And he's so young, and he's great at what he does. Wesley is great. He did a lot of good shit in here. This dude, Wesley, flew around and was nothing. And here's Obafemi throwing this guy around like it's freaking nothing. I don't know why notification is My apologies. Um... Yeah, Obafemi throwing this dude around like he is nothing, man. He is throwing around like he's a freaking toy. Just just toying with him, playing with him. And so it's, it's so wild. Obafemi's strength, his athleticism is insane. There are wild spots in this match. And Obafemi won. Obafemi won the match. And, uh, yeah, it was still great. Uh, yeah, Wesley and they're sitting there distraught in the ring. It was just very wild. And uh, the crowd soaking in. The crowd was literally ch- All night, this crowd was just energetic and, like, um, they were chanting, holy shit, and this is awesome. Like, oh my gosh, this show was just great. Again, this match was fun, man. And then Obafemi retained the title. I was expecting, like, interferences or something like that. Nope, nothing. He won clean. And, uh, yeah, Obafemi looked a freaking beast out there. And he had a freaking um, Wesley doing his shit. He looked great, too, in the ending as well. It took a lot to keep him down, too. It took a lot to keep Obafemi down. But, dude, they went out there and killed it. And, uh, yeah, Obafemi retained the title. So that was great. Kalani, Jordan, and Soruka. People are literally saying this is the female version of Will Ospreay and Ricochet. And honestly, I can kind of see it. They went out there and just flipped and dived and just did some good shit. But not just that. You had some good technical wrestling in there as well. A good storytelling basic as well. You had Kalani, the defending champion, Soruka, her friend, and so like that. There's just so much dynamic with those two that they went out there and just told an incredible story. And they just went out there and had fun. That's the best thing about NXT and what I love. They have, everyone has fun. And this year's for like everyone went there and just had a great time and just loved performing. I love performing in front of big, big crowds like you know, with NXT. I love how they just go out there and perform in front of the big crowds. It's just so great. It's just, it feels so relaxing. You know, it's just so amazing to see that. And they went out there and just told a good story. There was, there was this springboard freak. I don't know what this was. A springboard like uh, clothesline that So Ruka did. And I'm like, what the heck was that? If she's. Oh my gosh, the counter from the Soul Snatcher from Kalani was great. Um, there was just so much stuff going on. Literally, the beginning of the match is them just flipping back and forth, and them just you know trying to outdo one. And I'm like, this is this is just literally female Osprey and Ricochet. And I'm like, this is actually pretty fun. And uh, yeah, but it wasn't just all flips and dies, man. They just went out there and told a good story. They killed it, and it was just great. And I'm a huge Osprey fan, so like, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate this stuff. Even Ricochet gave his little props there to this match, but they went out there and just. They did great, man. Uh, this is Kalani's first big defense on a big stage, like Heat Wave. So this is great for her. Yeah, Sol Ruka is a future star in the making, folks. A future star in the making with Sol Ruka. She is so good. And the Soul Snatcher is one of my favorite finishers in NXT, bar none. I love it. It's great. She connects it so well. It's like the RKO out of nowhere. It's great. But yeah, Kalani Jordan retained the title, and that was very, very fun. It was only 11 minutes, too. I thought it went longer. It should have went on longer, but it's all good. It's all good, because that match ruled. And then you had Nathan Frazier and Axiom defend the tag titles against Chase U. Again, not the biggest fan of Chase U. But dang it, Chase U, again, you went out there and sold your freaking butts off. And you did freaking awesome. Everyone did great. You know, you had the whole diff thing with Axiom and Nathan Frazier kind of, you know, dysfunction. Kind of like a little bit, I guess, you know. They went out there and did their thing, too. Again, another great match. You had, of course, Thea Hale at the ringside doing her shit. She's funny, as always. You had, um, of course... 
you had Andre Chase and they're doing the, oh, give me a C, you know, all that stuff, the chant and all that. You had Duke, Duke Hudson, who's a freaking beast in there, that dude. Again, he, he's really fit into his role with Chase U. Um, he's really come into his own as well. He, he's so good. Of course, Riley Osborne was at ringside too, but this match was so much fun too. Actually, there was a few times I thought that Chase U was going to win the titles. I'm like, dude, they might give it to them, which I wouldn't have mind, honestly, because no offense to Axman and Nathan. Um, they haven't really had much of them, so... I was thinking, yeah, title change might be happening here. But nope, they ended up retaining the titles. I'm like, okay, fine with me. Don't know who's taking it from him. I got a hunch where I think I might be taking him. But that's you know, it. But still, this match was so much fun. And again, there were times I was like, dude, the tag titles might change hands. And uh, no, they didn't. But it was still a great match. You had the tag chance retaining in a very, very good match. Um, yeah, I give Chase U their flowers. Again, not the biggest fan of Chase U, but I give them their flowers in this match as well. Yeah, they did great too. The Tad Champs did great. Axum and Nathan are fantastic. You know, again, this guy's actually more his Tad team. And uh, yeah, they're doing good in my opinion. Yeah, Champs retained. Lola Vice and Roxanne. My God, first of all, people need to stop sleeping on Lola Vice. She's really, really good. She's not just an ass shaking you know, person. You know, she's really good at what she does. Um, she's really coming to her own in the, in the NXT. And at first, when I first saw her, I was like, eh, I'm not really a big fan. But I really warmed up to her uh, down the line the more I got to see of her in the ring. And I'm like, dude, she's actually pretty good. And um, you know, her story this past week on NXT was, like, very good. And that brought me in more. I was like, dude, she could probably win this all. Same, same, same thing with most of these matches. Like, dude, the titles could change hands with any of these matches. Um, there were moments in this match, like, she was getting offense in. And then the spinning back elbow into the freaking post, I cringed so much. I'm like, bro. Bro, she's going to be in so much pain. And, oh, my, ooh, lit, that had to hurt so bad. Lynn Roxy went to work on the arm. Roxanne, can we talk about Roxanne for a sec? Her character work has been incredible, in my opinion. I love how she's just the crazed champion, the crazed champion who just wants to keep her gold. You know, she'll do anything to keep that gold. Of course, yeah, that's what heel champs do. But Roxy's just been doing great in this role. And, um... She's been just very fantastic at what she does in this, t- this, this title reign that she's been doing. Her first reign wasn't bad. It just didn't have that much depth to it, in my opinion. You know, but she, she did good. Her second run has been, been what, much better, in my opinion. Um, you know, just the way she's been doing with her character, so that's been great. She worked on the arm in this match, which is very good. There, it took freaking five Pop Rocks to keep down, um, to keep down Lola Vice. Five. Five and then, of course, there was one that was botched, which, yeah, that's okay. You, she had one on the freaking table, the announcer outside. She had one on the outside. I think she had one on the outside. No, she had one on the uh, Pop Rocks on the uh, table, which looked brutal as heck. Then she had one in the ring. Then she had another one. Then she had a third one, and that was one that kept uh, Lola Vice down. But, dude, Lola was great. Lola deserves her flowers, too. Like, she's so good. She's really, really good, in my opinion. And, again, Roxy, she's killing ass champ. I'm so proud of her. And, again, this heel run has really, 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 you know, done well for her. And she's good, doing good at promo. She's doing good well in the ring. Obviously, that's, that's no given. She's pretty good in the ring regardless. Um, she's just really, really good at what she does. And she and Lola went out there and killed it. And, uh, yeah, Roxy retained. There were parts, again, I thought the title was going to change hands. Again, saying a lot in this video. But I was like, bro. So freaking awesome what they did. And they went out there and just told a good story. And I loved it. It was great. Great stuff from uh, uh, Roxy and uh, Lola Vice. Good, my gosh, it was so good. The main event, Fatal Four with the NXT Championship. <laughs> oh boy, freaking Ethan Page, Trick Williams, Javon Evans, and Sean Spears. D- 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 this words cannot really describe what I'm about to tell you, but just go back and watch this match again. My words are not going to do this match justice. You have Javon Evans flying all over the place. You have freaking. <laughs> you have Trick Williams doing his good shtick out there. You got freaking Ethan Page being Ethan Page. And you got Sean Spears out here swinging chairs. Like, this dude, d- these guys were incredible. Again, my words cannot do this justice. There were so many spots, I can't name them off. You have Javon Evans flying over the freaking um, steel post through the barricade. Through the barricade. I'm like, what the heck? It was insane. Like, you have freaking Sean Spears swinging his chairs everywhere. You have, there was a freaking thumb spot, a thumb, uh, thumb to the eye spot, which had me laughing my head off. You have the ending spot of how, I mean, Ethan Page won the title. Freaking, it was insane. Like, I, again, it, it was so, it was like a callback to Backlash 2007. 
fucked up because the guy who books the show was on that freaking car and it was in the main event of that freaking thing. So, of course, it was a freaking callback. Awesome stuff. I uh, love you, Shawn Michaels, for that one, man. Dude, this match was insane. They were, th- dude, Javon Evans hit a, f- this dude, <laughs> freaking springboard freaking cutter. Then he hit a freaking spinal tap and I thought he was about, there were two moments. I'm like, dude, they're going to give Javon the belt. They're going to give Javon the title. Like, this dude was flying all over the place. Oh, my freaking gosh. Dude, just so much I can't to say about this. Trick Williams is doing great. You know, he cost himself his own title. So that's, you know, that's kind of your fault that you lost. So, I mean, you, you did good, but, you know, you did good. But, yeah, it's kind of your own fault you lost your title. And then, you know, Sean Spears pulled you out. So that's how Ethan Page won. He didn't even know he won because he got knocked out for, like, two seconds. That's <laughs> the trick shot. But, dude, Javon Evans. Javon Evans in this match, his first main event, and this dude went out there and performed like a freaking psycho. This dude is incredible. And again, I wish I found this this dude beforehand. Like my friends, uh, they found him before me. I'm like, bro, dude, my gosh. Oh my goodness, y'all, y'all should have shown me this guy way before I told them. But oh my gosh, once I found this dude and I asked him, I, I like him. And then in, in this, I've loved him even more. His go-home promo from this past week on NXT was good, too. You know, everyone had a good gripe to win this match. And anyone could have won this match. It was that good. It was that good. It, it was so much fun. Like, dude, and Ethan Page winning, it was great. The crowd loved it, you know. His little, and then the ending thing with Joe, Hen- <laughs> Joe Hendry flashing on the screen for like two seconds. I'm like, bruh, dude, dude, what is this? <laughs> like, freaking cross ring with TNA, which is great. Um... So, yeah, I don't know what we're doing with the Joe Hendry stuff. I'm like, hmm, interesting. I, I, I lost my freaking mind when I eat the page one. So, that was that was awesome. Second attempt. Second time's the charm. You know, he didn't win, obviously, a battleground, so he won here. Again, it's kind of good that he won in a fiddle four-way, which is great. Again, um, I just really, really love this match. And it was, everything on this card was so much fun. Everyone did so good. There wasn't really that many – there wasn't really big surprises. Nobody really debuted. They're probably saving that for the next show. Um, but yeah, nobody really debuted. There wasn't really that nothing big. It was all about fun tonight. Last night was uh, last night. Yeah, last night was all about fun and just putting on a banger, man. They, everyone just went out there and had fun and just put on a good good matches, good storylines, good stuff. You know, for me, match of the night. There's so many. Fail four way for the title. The NXT title was fun. Um, Roxy and Lola was great, dude. Every dude, I can't really choose. I think everything was just fun. I, I really can't choose my favorite one match from this night. I really can't because everything in my opinion was just 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 great. I really just sat down, I enjoyed it. And I was like, dude, this is this is great. That's why I love NXT. I love what they do. And Shawn Michaels has been killing it down there in Florida, and he's been killing it with these these shows and and just I, I want more. I got I got more. I love my NXT. So, I say it every time I love NXT. You know, they keep giving me what I love. Um, yeah, it was great. Um, any nitpicks? I wouldn't say there's not really big nitpicks. I mean, I kind of wish Chase U won the titles because, again, no offense to Axiom and Nathan, they're not really doing much, but that's not really a big nitpick. But other than that, I mean, I wanted Lola to win. Once like, we got going with the match with Lola and Roxy, I was like, dude, I kind of want Lola to win the match. Um, but she didn't. It's all good, though. Roxy held on to her gold. Her baby, as she's calling again, you know, she's freaking being kissing it and everywhere. It's, called, it's so freaking weird that Roxy's doing. She's great what she does. Um... The main event with Ethan Page winning was awesome, too. I mean, it's just Javon Evans. Enough said. Sean Spears was great, too. Trick Williams was great. He did. You know, Trick Williams was pretty good. He held down the Forest champ. Hopefully, maybe they'll call him up down the road. I don't freaking know what's going to happen to Trick Williams next, but it's all ego all the way. The ego era has begun, ladies and gentlemen, and I can't wait to see what he does as the NXT champion. I cannot wait to see what he does as the NXT champion. He's going to do great in this role. But, yeah, man, that is uh, my... My total thoughts on NXT Heat Wave. Again, I my in the bank wasn't bad. It was just not really my personal cup of tea on that night. It just uh, so Heat Wave really washed everything out for me. It was great, you know. Yeah, I really enjoyed Heat Wave, man. I gave it like what nine out of ten. <laughs> yeah, that's how much I love that show. It was so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. NXT, I love you. I I appreciate you. I can't wait for the next show. I mean, yeah, this for me. This stole the weekend in my opinion. This was great. 
And, um, yeah, I cannot wait to see what the next uh, show is. Uh, I can't wait. Very excited. And uh, we're on the road to SummerSlam next. So, yeah, can't wait. It's going to be great. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do sweet like button down below. Subscribe and just like this one. Follow our guy at Twitter, Hill Baller, Instagram, Hill Baller YT. And I will see you all in the next one. Too sweet. And peace out. Have a great day.